Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got glasses. I literally have not seen an optometrist since I was about eight or nine years old when my mom was alive. Um, I went one time and I was nearsighted and I had glasses. I was young so I wore them here and there but anyway uh, never really put full thought into it. But um, while I've been focusing a lot on my health, um, I thought, well, that is one area I really haven't checked. And I knew I'd had issues with reading certain things, uh, you know, especially like small little labels, uh, like on here, bottoms of lipsticks, like I'm sure if you've been watching me, I could barely read some of them. Some of them I couldn't anyways, so I finally went in. I got bifocals, yes. So this is my first day wearing them. They are a fancy Tiffany and Company. I thought, well, if I'm gonna be wearing them all the time, I'm gonna go in style. So literally to me, this is my actual first pair. Here's the box that came in with all the little goodies, the wipe and all that. And then I have some cleanser and it's making me dizzy wearing them right now. And then here's the little um, packaging. So obviously I'm sure you know, the top is uh, for one area and then the bottom, the bottom's for near, far side. I get confused. I don't want to name it the opposite. But the bottom is for me to read things and I can totally tell the difference, but I'm getting used to them. So I'm going to take them off because I'm wearing them a little bit here and a little bit there. They're super cute. They have little hearts on the side um, until I am fully 100% used to them. Um, then I will be wearing them pretty much all the time, but we'll take that slowly. I don't want to feel any motion sickness or anything. So, this video is mainly about my empties. I don't think I have ever done a video on my empties and I could be wrong, um, but a lot of my empties I forgot and I threw away. Most of them are beauty products. Um, I don't think I've ever thrown away uh, makeup unless it's gone bad. So these are the empties that I remember to keep and I put in my little Guardians of the Galaxy 10 from Popcorn way back. So we have Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I went through this like immediately. So, so quick. I absolutely love it. Um, the, the spray is so easy to hold down and you just continuously, like it says, it goes around your whole face. is absolutely wonderful. And then I got this from Influencer, one of the two items I ever received from them. Um, Brightening Serum by Pericone. Um, Pericone is a pretty high priced brand. I went through the whole thing. It was wonderful. Did it do remarkable results? No. Will I rebuy it or will I buy it? No. But I did finish it off. And then Glam Glow, I have the Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. Um, was it great? Yeah, it was good. It smells good and everything. Um, overpriced, definitely. Will I rebuy it? No. Uh, not that it's bad or anything. It's just way, way overpriced. Um, the Ordinary, I know I cannot talk enough about The Ordinary on here i think that the prices are so fair um and i absolutely love the products this is the argoline solution 10 percent. i believe it was seven dollars 90 cents or something like that uh here is two of them that i've gone through i am almost out of my third one in the bathroom love it um i use several several of the products then Kiehl's Herbal Extract Toner Alcohol Free. This is absolutely amazing. Um, when I was running out of it, I debated on buying this or the one from, I think it's Fresh, has little petals in it. And I thought I'd try a new one. It was a mistake. This is way, way better. When I run out of that in like a year, I will go back to Kiehl's because it's way better. 
It's got like a cooling filling, just great. Then I have Clarins Total Eye Concentrate. It was really great. Uh, you know, you dab it around your eye and all that, but it, Clarins is on the more expensive end. Although it lasts me a while, I will not repurchase it. I have several other eye things I am using right now. And then along with that, I have the Clarins Double Serum. This is great. This is all over your face. This is really, really expensive. They had some deals during Christmas. Uh, not this Christmas, but they had one before. Um, and I got like a whole Clarins package. I will not rebuy that. It did not do anything miraculous for me to spend that amount of money on it. And then the... Um, Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I really enjoy this. Um, I had run out. I am using, uh, I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, I have a bunch of moisturizers, so I don't need any. The only thing I don't like is this part where it comes up a little bit. It doesn't seem like you can ever get, like, if there's a little bit at the bottom. Um, but otherwise, I do really like Drunk Elephant. They are expensive, so I usually try and save that for the Sephora 20%. KKW, this is the contour um, I did rebuy when I went to her pop-up shop. I absolutely love it. It melts right into the skin. It glides on effortlessly. They are not overpriced, but shipping I will not pay unless I'm making a large order. Um, but I do really, really enjoy this. Ofra Advanced Vitamin C. This came in like a Fab Fit Fun or BoxyCharm uh, Vitamin C Cream. Again, it worked. It's Vitamin C Cream, but it wasn't miraculous. I will not repurchase or purchase it, I should say. Then I have the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is amazing. A little expensive, but I'm using the Tatcha one now, um, which is going to last forever, but this is really, really good. Here is some more of the Ordinary. It is the Niacinamide. I'm saying that wrong. You know, just accept it. 10% um, and Zinc, 1%. Again, this is like 7 or 8 bucks. I buy it a lot on Beautylish. Here is the Tatcha Water Cream. I love this stuff. It goes on and it feels so refreshing and cooling and it smells wonderful. It is up there in price. So if I ever were to rebuy it, it would be during a 20% off sale. Right now I am stocked with moisturizers. Wet n Wild Focus Foundation. I did not actually go through this. Um, it's just kind of gone bad. This smells kind of bad. I really do like this foundation. I would recommend it. It is great and affordable. Really affordable. Here is a Glam Glow Super Mud. Um, I did like this. I don't like the one that you peel, which is the purple one. This is like a mud. And I do like it. Again, I just think Glam Glow is very pricey. For the product, I, I have other preferences other than Glam Glow if I'm going to pay that price. Tatcha and Drunk Elephant being two of them. Oh, I got a little feather in here. Um, these I did not go through. They kind of went bad if you can see it's real watery in there. Um, but I have so many foundations, but these are really, really good. Again, it is ordinary and they are just so affordable. Uh, I have a few of them. I wasn't sure of my shade range. And this is the Bare Skin Bare Minerals. Um, it, it was just okay. I got it from Marshalls. And I was actually decluttering my drawer. This is not uh, empty. And I, it's probably not even gone bad. But it's just not my shade. And then... We have, this is a uh, color pop, right? I should have my glasses on, see? 
Anyways, this is the uh, clear brow, and it is just obviously disgusting. <laughs> I've used the heck out of it. And then here is a great thing. This is Urban Decay Velvetizer. Absolutely love this. I use this so much. I actually may repurchase it. It was so finely milled that you can use it and put it in your foundation. Um, use it for under your eyes, all over your face. Amazing product. Um, would be up on my list of a repurchase. Again, I'm not in a hurry. I have a ton of powders, but maybe when I have the VIB cell or if Urban Decay has a cell, it is a great powder. Anyways, that is it for my video. I wanted to film this forever. It's been on my mind. Um, I don't think, again, I don't think I've ever done a empties video. So that is it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon.